Hi, my name is Walker Frank, and uh, this is my presentation on free will versus determinism. So, uh, first of all, there are two types of free will that people believe in, compatibilism and libertarianism, not the political kind. This is philosophy. And um, compatibilism is, this is the view that free will and determinism can uh, work in reality together. Like, they can coincide and coexist together and... You have free will, but there's also deterministic like aspects. So um, this points to uh, any action made by humans have some degree dictated by choice. Anything I do, I am choosing to do. There's always other options that I could pick from, and um, I'm I'm choosing to do them. And then even under the influence of deterministic forces, the individual does have the choice to um, do the action if they wanted to or not. Like I can decide to not do this video or I can uh, choose to do it you know, obviously I know. but um, I, I can choose whether or not I want to do something um, and then libertarianism is more free like free will separated from determinism and then um, there are three types of that there is event casual where free actions are inter inter midst interministically caused by prior events so I'm choosing to do something because something else has already happened I'm ch doing this because that's I've already chose to do that thing you know I chose to do this here and then later I did this because of that um, and then agent causation is agents indeterministically cause free actions so Something would, it's kind of like the same, a little bit of the same, that's a little different, but something that's already happened or something externally is making me choose this thing. But I'm still choosing it, but this thing that I didn't choose is making me do it. And then there's non-casual where free actions are constituted by basic mental actions, and that's just like want you wanting to do something and going out to do it. And then there's the argument that um, if God is omnipresent um, and has an omniscient and omniscience, that he's everywhere and knows everything. But um, so that means that God knows all and has already experienced everything. This would take away free will. However, God allows for free will. And then um, so God, I think we went over this in class at some point. But God knows facts, and the, we you know we can claim that the future is not all facts and it's not. Determine like it's not factual things that's going to happen in the future. It's so it's going to happen, but it's not factually happened. And then um, there's also the fact that human freedom is different than God's freedom. It um, just we're not at that high of a plane yet, or ever will be, and we can't determine whether or not that's what God sees as freedom and what we see as freedom. So this might be free to us, and it's different to Him, or we might not seem free, but it's free for Him. And then um, not believing in free will and only determinism would mean that anything you did in your life, it, it really wouldn't matter because it's planned out for you anyway. So why would I feel inclined to do anything if my whole life's already been determined and I, there wouldn't be any point to, I mean, I wouldn't feel like I would have to do anything because it's going to end up how it's supposed to be anyways. And then, um, and then, uh, yeah, why would, you, why would you do anything with your life when you it's already going to be determined? And then there are also uh, two principles or like laws that further show the aspect of free will. And that's the principle of alternate possibilities. And that's an action is, only, is free only if the agent, that is the person, doing the thing could have done otherwise. Mean that options are like available. That means that I'm, only, I'm free only if there's other options so there's oh i mean there's always another option i could always do something else than what i'm doing now i could there's always an alternative option and then there's agent causation which is anything propelled by the mind can start a whole chain of causation that wasn't caused by anyone else and that's um, going back to what t reed said can't remember his first name but not all causes have a cause so that's saying like i can start something myself and it's not determined but I decided to do it, and I've, um, you know, I've decided to do it. And then some of the consequences, if um, we didn't believe in free will, we wouldn't be able to, why, how would we be able to punish someone for, do, for breaking a law or something because 
it's not their fault. They were determined to do it anyways. It was already predetermined. It was going to happen. It it wouldn't have mattered if you know they didn't do it now. It was going to happen. But if you believe in free will, then it's they chose to do it, and then you can you know punish them or you know take something away from them. Um, well, that is my part of the presentation, and I was explaining free will. Thank you.